right, with Notion's new automation feature coming out today, we'll be creating a simple timesheet and the goal of this video is to do a quick five minute setup of a simple timesheet using these brand new automation features. So first we're going to start with this. We're going to zip through this sort of so that the setup done in a few minutes. We're going to start with a few. Status property, two checkbox properties for clocking in and clocking out, and two date properties to signify the dates and time of when we do click on these clocking in and clocking out. We'll have a formula to calculate the difference between time references. So let's see if these basic properties set up and get started on the automation side. So now with the automation, we can find this lightning bolt next to the sort and search feature. And we can go ahead and click on that to get started with automations. I just recently learned while filming this video that you need a Notion Plus account to take advantage of these features. And so I just want to warn people who are trying to set up these automations on a free account. So we're going to start with the clocking in feature. So when the clock in is edited, we want to trigger certain things. And so in this case, we want to do the clock time. Also, want to adjust the status to in progress because we start. What we're also going to do is assign the property to yourself, and we can create that trigger. Once we create that automation, let's also add our gallery view. If you need to slow the video down to catch up, that is all good. So now, while we do click on clock in, let's see what happens. We have the time that shows up and the not started turns into in progress. Show the status above the person. So we've created the clocking in automation, and now we're gonna have to create the clock out automation, which is basically simple. Now the clock out is edited, we get to set the clock out time to now, and the set status to done. So let's look at this. Now we've set this automation click. Just have to wait a little bit. Bam. Done. And now we have a timestamp for clock out time. And so now that we have this automation set up, Let's create a formula that measures the difference between these times. So the formula we're going to use is date between clock out time, the clock in time, and set minutes. Now what that does is it outputs minute difference between clock in and clock out time, which you see here. And what we're going to do is add a little text to make this pop out a little bit more. Use the concat formula, which just strings together texts together. So clock. We'll use the format, and then we're also going to add minutes under this text. So now the done appears, we can click on done, and it will say oh, clocked in for, and then it'll take the difference between clock in and clock out time. Obviously, we only want this to show when these are full. We're going to add a if function that looks like if, if not empty, and then spit this out. But if not, we're going to just close that up. Parameter there. And so now when these are not filled, it will not show. So now that we have that formula set up so that it counts our times, let's just create a basic title. Created that new base template. Now we gotta set it as default. Default views. Now new 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 timesheet entry. So now when we do click on new. All we have to do is click on clock in, and our automation will run. It'll take a sec, but notice how status changes. You're assigned the person, and your timestamp is entered. So now to finish off this timesheet entry, all we have to do. Notice what happens when we clock out. The status changes, timestamp appears, and it tells us how long we've been clocked in for in minutes. So because we are clocked in for less than zero minutes, it's going to say zero minutes. To start a new one, click new, boom, clock in. Now it's in progress, and if we wait a full minute, it'll start tracking like it should. Again, because the automation is set so that it's checked in and checked out, we only want to use timesheet entries 
be just the two clicks alone and nothing else. So once we have these automations set, and check by clicking on both, seeing what the output looks like. And then also after waiting a minute, we clocked out. Once we clocked out, we clocked in for one minute. That is how you create a basic timesheet using Notion's brand new automation feature. Notice how simple that was. And if you think about it, you can practically add this on any database or any page via one of these views. This is just one example of using Notion's automation feature. And I feel as if just tap the surface with a lot of this stuff because these automations, as you can see, extend to a lot of things and a lot of actions. Thanks for watching and comment what I should potentially try to create next. Thanks.